nowadays i'm so scared to post my crochet finished products because i fear for my mental health i discovered the dark side of the crochet community a year ago and my life has never been the same after those traumatic experiences i feel unmotivated to even crochet sometimes i feel like i'm going to be attacked by another designer when i post a crochet design I just do not understand the concept of originality when it comes to crochet designs. Crocheting has been in existence for so many years. It can be dated even before the 1700s and there's nothing new under the sun when it comes to crocheting. Now I do not know a single human being who just woke up one day and began a double crocheting or half double crocheting. We learned from different sources whether from our mothers or aunties or grandmothers mothers from school or even from youtube imagine the originator of the double crochet stitch suing everybody for using the stitch or the originator of the pineapple part suing everyone for using the stitch as well without crediting him or her now i want to make things very clear not all designs that are crocheted are posted on social media some might not even know the existence of social media but might have created the same design you claim to be your original design the fact that you have a larger audience to project your items when you crochet does not mean you are the exact originator of the design now let's dive deep into this analysis with examples well this is a personal experience which actually broke me down for some time on march 2020 i received a hateful comment from a viewer of my channel and i quote is this shilla crochet's work lord I want to support people but you got to give credit to the real person who did it. This is the image of the work the person claims belonged to Sheila Crochet. It's basic, a chevron stitch top with straps and you claim Sheila Crochet originated the design. Really? <laughs> This is so basic and random considering how I learned the seven stitch three years ago on YouTube and decided to make a top from it when I was recording tutorials back then. Now, how was I supposed to know that Sheila Crochet was known for a similar piece? The fact that she posts her designs on social media does not mean that it reaches every audience in the crochet community. It's crazy how some people think in this 21st century. So I replied her with this comment. And I guess she had nothing better to say afterwards. Coming to think of it, did Sheila Crochet invent the chevron stitch? Because I'm confused. Like I'm I'm absolutely confused. Please clarify this in the comment section. Fast forward, this comment might not be so harmful to some people, but it affected me so much in so many ways. I was so confused that people undermined my creativity because I was not popular or known. I made a lot of outstanding designs at home, but I never posted pictures of them on Instagram because I felt like I was going to be attacked and I couldn't take it. Even though my wound is healed from this traumatic experience, experience i feel unmotivated to even crochet sometimes i feel like i'm going to be attacked by another designer when i post a crochet design it prevented me from exploring my crochet skill and i deeply regret it i came to the realization that there are hateful people who always post hate comments so i'll keep doing my thing I have had so many traumatic experiences in the crochet community and I can't note everything in this video. But I feel like it left a huge scar in my heart even though the wound is healed, the scar is still inside. I feel like my mental health is at stake. I feel like my work is also underrated sometimes. And it doesn't bother me but when people do post hateful comments, I get so, so annoyed. I'm a mother of two and combining crochets with family life, work and school is not an easy task. I'm not here to complain or rant about it anyway. I have decided to bring a segment to this channel where I talk about all these social issues going on in the crochet community. So stay tuned and subscribe for more content like this. Getting to interact with you guys in the comment section delights me. I feel like my anxiety will be reduced drastically if I read your comments. So kindly drop a comment on this issue. Pour your heart out and I'll reply. 
somewhere in 2020 i posted an experience of my crochet sister being bullied on social media for making a romper with the leaf stitch design which was now popular because of shella crochet she was verbally abused so many times and it didn't only affect her but it affected me personally so you know about this issue that people have been attacked several times for using patterns that are similar to popular crocheters because they don't have a wider audience they are being attacked severally for being creative and there has been a lot of issues that has come on but i have decided not to stay with this is not really fair when creative minds are coming out to create content for a lot of people to benefit why should the fans of a popular crocheter attack the person for what reason putting myself in her shoes for just five minutes and i was already emotionally drained i felt so angry because sitting down to create a design and picking a camera to record a tutorial is not easy talk of the editing compilation voiceover filming every single stage and explaining for viewers to understand and on top of it being an african and joining the youtube space is never ever easy it's it's, it's hundred times difficult than the regular youtube does not recommend video from black i mean that's what i've noticed if i'm wrong please comments down below let me dive deeply into this statement just go on the youtube search button and then search or type how to crochet on youtube and see if a black creator will appear on your timeline for the very first five tutorials comment if a black creator appeared or you even saw any of my tutorials on your timeline after you search in the first five so for cynthia to be dragged for using the leaf stitch is something that can emotionally drain you as a content creator especially from a small minority group the positive side of the negativity so to everything there's a positive side of course it brings more attention to your channel of course when someone drags you on social media in some cases you might gain attention from it even though it's negative because basically everyone is going to look for the tutorial that the person is ranting or talking about and even though they might react negatively to the content or dislike the video youtube is still going to recommend to others because there's still engagement whether positive or negative let me give an example a crochet brand recently dragged sheen for stealing a design they claim they originated sheen is a big brand and with all the dragging a lot of people ordered from the crochet brand and <laughs> what was funny was that the price difference was really huge sheen was selling their item for 16 dollars only and then this crochet brand was selling it for 300 dollars which i do understand because it's a slow fashion brand and it's completely fine so you see even though there was this negative impact okay the small business always wins let's say if you are watching a football match between a country which is not really known for scoring goals and then a country that really scores and is really good at the football you are definitely going to support the one which um is less privileged it's kind of like we use that term to you know get people to our side so that was the case between this brand and sheen and and it was really an interesting and it benefited her by exposing her to a lot of audience now i do not want my video to be extremely long but i am going to outline some solutions in which i think might help people who find themselves in this situation sometimes you do sit down to create a design and then when you go on social media you find the same exact design sometimes even in the same exact color on pinterest and you are like that's such a coincidence it has happened to me several times and nobody is going to listen to you because they are going to term you as a thief in quotes and are not going to listen to your side and it can be emotionally draining especially if you do not have someone to keep you going with such a great talent like crocheting so when it comes to getting back on track after such traumatic experience there's actually no specific solution because everyone takes things differently a fellow crocheter who was bullied for making a top similar to another crocheter bravely stood on her ground not to let the bad mouthing affect her and she never deleted the post she just deleted the comments never replied the perpetrator and 
she was fine with it i pray that god gives us such heart to take things but as i said everyone takes things differently do not let those negative comments get to you just make sure that you delete such comments and do not waste your time to reply keep doing you explore a lot of designs and eventually you might find a very unique design which is not really common that is why recently i do not take designs which are really common among the crochet community i take months to come up with designs which are not really common even though they might be found at other places but i am emotionally drained at this moment that i am not ready for any kind of drama i also feel like if you are getting emotionally drained just take a break from social media relax and crochet off camera and appreciate your art okay social media attached to crocheting has brought a, a new dimension and it's really affecting some creative talents like me to come out in order to you know show the world our skill staying positive always pays keep crocheting and don't let any negative comments come between you and your hook thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy please subscribe turn on your post notifications so that you do not miss out on any of these type of content my name is akusia doma and i'll see you in another video bye